Welcome to Mac Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. This is the third set of the easy round for grade 4 pupils. In the easy round, you are given 15 seconds to answer each question mentally. Be sure to write your answer on a piece of paper before the time expires. Let us begin with question number 1. What are the two consecutive numbers with a sum of 89? Again, what are the two consecutive numbers with the sum of 89? Go. Time is up. The answer is 44 and 45. Question number two. Write the sum of three fourths and two fourths in decimal form. Again, write the sum of three fourths and two fourths in decimal form. Go. Time is up. The answer is 1.25 or 1 and 25 hundredths. Question number 3. A streamer is 3.5 meters long. How long is it in centimeters? Again, a streamer is 3.5 meters long. How long is it in centimeters? Go. Time is up. The answer is 350. Question number 4. If 25 times 25 equals 625, what is 25 hundreds times 25 hundreds equal to? Again, if 25 times 25 equals 625, what is 25 hundreds times 25 hundreds equal to? Go. Time is up. The answer is 625 10,000 or 0 0.0625. Question number 5. What is the least common multiple of 8, 12, and 24? Again, what is the least common multiple of 8, 12, and 24? Go. Time is up. The answer is 24. Question number 6. Express 5.2 as a fraction in lowest terms. Again, express 5.2 as a fraction in lowest terms. Go. Time is up. The answer is 26 over 5. Question number 7. What is the reciprocal of 4 and 5 twelfths? Again, what is the reciprocal of 4 and 5 twelfths? Go.
Time is up. The answer is 12 over 53. Number eight. For every three boys in a class, there are five girls. If there are 25 girls, how many are boys? Again, for every three boys in a class, there are five girls. If there are 25 girls, how many are boys? Go. Time is up. The answer is 15. Question number 9. If you increase 18 and 5400 by 26,000, what is the result? Again, if you increase 18 and 5400 by 26,000, what is the result? Go. Time is up. The answer is 18.566 or 18 and 566,000. Last question for this round. A vendor had 64 avocados in her stall. She sold 7 eighths of them. How many avocados were left? Again, a vendor had 64 avocados in her stall. She sold seven eighths of them. How many avocados were left? Go. Time is up. The answer is eight. Did you get all ten? This time, let us show the solution to the 15 second questions. Question number one. What are the two consecutive numbers with a sum of 89? Here is our suggested solution. Since we have 89, let us subtract 1. This will be 88. And then let us divide this into 2. We will have 44 and 44. Then let us put the one that we subtracted to one of these two numbers. So we have 44 and 45. Question number two. Write the sum of three-fourths and two-fourths in decimal form. Here is our suggested solution. Since we have two fractions with the same denominator, we can simply add these two fractions we have 5 over 4. To change a fraction to decimal form, we simply divide the numerator by the denominator. So we have 5 divided by 4. We have 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Then we subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. Then we put a decimal and annex 0. So we have 10 divided by 4. That is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract. Let's get another 0. We have 20 divided by 4 is 5. And that is exact. The answer is 1.25 or 1 and 25 hundredths. Number 3. A streamer is 3.5 meters long. How long is it in centimeters? Here's our suggested solution. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So we simply multiply 3.5 meters by the ratio 100 centimeters is to 1 meter. So we will get 350 centimeters. Question number 4. If 25 times 25 equals 625, what is 25 hundreds times 25 hundreds equal to? For our 
our suggested solution in multiplying decimal. We just multiply the numbers as if we are multiplying ordinary numbers. So 0 0.25 times 0.25 is still 25 times 25 is 625. However, in multiplying decimals, we count the number of decimal places from both factors and then we count as many places from the right to the left of the answer, from the right digit or to the left most. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. We put a decimal there, so our answer is 625 ten thousandths or 0 0.0625. Question number 5. What is the least common multiple of 8, 12, and 24? For our suggested solution, we can just observe that 24 is divisible by 8. Also, 24 is divisible by 12. And 24 is divisible by itself. Therefore, 24 is the least common multiple. Question number 6. Express 5.2 as a fraction in lowest terms. Here's our suggested solution. 5.2 is the same as 5 and 2 tenths. The fraction part, 2 tenths, can be simplified to 1 fifth. And then changing this to mixed number fraction in lowest term, we have 5 times 5 is 25 plus 1, so we have 26 over 5. Question number 7. What is the reciprocal of 4 and 5 twelfths? Here is our suggested solution. First, let us convert 4 and 5 twelfths to an improper fraction. So we have 12 times 4, that's 48, plus 5, that is 53 over 12. Hence, the reciprocal will be 12 over 53. Question number 8. For every 3 boys in a class, there are 5 girls. If there are 25 girls, how many are boys? Here's our suggested solution. We'll be using the cross product property of proportion. The ratio between boys and girls is 3 to 5. Hence, if there are 25 girls, let B be the number of boys. We have B is to 25. From cross product property of proportion, the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. Therefore, the number of boys will be equal to 3 times 25 divided by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5 and 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Question number 9. If you increase 18 and 54 hundreds by 26 thousands, what is the result? For our suggested solution, we're just going to write these number words into symbols. 18 and 54 hundreds, that's 18.54. To increase is to add 26 thousands, that will be 0 0.026. Hence, to add decimal is to write in column the decimal point, then we annex 0 after 4, so we have 6, 4 plus 2 is 6. And 18 plus 0 is 18. The answer is 18.566. Question number 10. A vendor had 64 avocados in her store. She sold 7 eighths of them. How many avocados were left? For our suggested solution, since the vendor sold 7 eighths of the avocados, then what is left will be 1 over 8. So we're looking for 1 8 of 64. 64 times 1 divided by 8 is 8. Therefore, there are 8 avocados left. 
that will be all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math contest drills for Filipino kids videos.